So for today's le lesson, we just learned about uh, combining colors. So I got this from my friend. So it comes with four Play-Doh, which is white, yellow, red, and blue, which is the basic colors. And when you combine it, you can make so many colors. Yeah. And then, for example, blue and yellow, you can make green, red and white, you can make pink. Uh, so I'm just teaching him what can, what color can you mix and what color will you made it into. So for example, this one is white, blue, yellow, and red. We combine blue and yellow become green. green. And blue and white become light blue. And then red and blue combined together become purple so he was having fun before but he now he got bored so if you want to teach him color so I think it will be a good time as well and you can also teach him how to make like ball because he was having a hard time before but now I think he can make it a little bit even though it's not perfect so you can learn about color learn about combining color learn about motor skill and also like learn how to make a ball so he can learn while playing and I teach him about the color in English and in Bahasa as well. So you can do so many things with this. Next, you can also build like a fort using like your chairs and like bed sheets. And he seems pretty happy with it. So you can do this. And you can read a book inside, play inside. And also use like a little lantern, like the like, like flashlight inside the tent. <laughs> For the next activity, he is going to learn about numbers and language in English and in Bahasa and also like motor skills so he can open like the stickers so I'm gonna ask him to find like number one or satu in Indonesian and he gonna put one and he gonna put like little dot or little triangles from there put it one if it's two and then he's gonna put two and then he has done it until five and it takes him a long time I have to sit with him so he can like uh, want to sit so he can learn and what else so I'm gonna try to teach him until number 10 he knows 1 to 10 already but I just want to teach him how to search from this pile and then put all the numbers here and then also in Bahasa as well and your child can also learn about colors in two languages or two languages if you want and open the stickers and put the garbage over here so I just want him to learn something about that. And because he drives not too slow, I just did crash. He drives not too slow, I did crash? So if you have like board games, you can also like uh, give your your toddler to play with it of course you need to supervise it otherwise you will uh, they will damage the board games and we have this uh, this is an old uh, board game that we have it's called game of life I used to love this game when I was a kid and of course he will not play it like uh, seriously but he can play to drive all the cars like all the small cars like that on the track and it has a lot of pictures as well so uh, he can pretend he is going to the park or the beach or something and also they have like a lot of like this building so he can pretend this is school library and his house and it has a lot of money and like these little people as well and it has a lot of like these little people as well it has the blue one for men the pink one for women and he can put inside uh, he can also put the people inside the car so it, he will pretend that it's him and mommy and daddy and grandma and grandpa inside and just drive along and he can also play with this spin wheel They also have like a little bridges like this as well, so it's really good. So they love oh, it, like this bridge. They are crash. Oh, it's crashing your car? I want to see. Yeah, so far he's playing with this a um, couple times already for a couple days. So sometimes he will get bored and uh, we will store it and then we'll bring it out again if he wants to play. And if they have a sibling or something or friends coming, so they can also play together like on this track. Uh, and we also have scribbles 
So Scribbles has a dice so he can learn how to throw a dice and count the dots and it also have like small letters like this so you can teach him to create a letter and say oh, what is T for T like for tiger and stuff like that so it has a lot of letters so he can learn about words and letters and also it has dice so he learn how to throw a dice and learn how to count like the dots as well and I also teach him to play Monopoly but of course not the real Monopoly so I just ask him to throw the dice and he can use the, like, the figurines to move from one square to the other square so when he's bigger I'm gonna teach him how to play the real Monopoly but for now it's something uh, to entertain him and um, most of us not playing board games for a long time so it's uh, rather than it's just sitting at home you can ask them to play with you but remember be careful if your toddler is really small still like and like to eat or like suck something just be careful because this one is really small and if you happen to go to like dollar store, you can also get this one and it's only four bucks. I think it's really affordable. So they have like so many kind like the Disney one for boys. They have like the superhero Justice League. Uh, and I also got him the one from Disney for cars. It's called Stuck on Stories because you can stuck all the characters like on the books. There's a suction cup at the back. And it has a lot of like stories as well so you can read to your child while uh, playing with them and what else it also comes with like little board game as well so I got him the one from Disney Pixar as well which is cars and the reason I got this one because I want him to learn all the names of the characters and because we are going to Disneyland later on and I want him to know all the characters name because right now he only know Alexander McQueen and again it's only four bucks so it it has like ambulance like the tow truck and the McQueen and the school bus garbage truck and stuff like that so I know I want him to learn about the characters before we go to Disneyland and yeah I think it's really affordable as well next I also have a lot of like play cards I will ask him to look at the picture so this for example this is diamonds and he can find uh cards that looks like a diamond and if this is a heart he can find something that looks like a heart like spade something if, and if it's spade find something like spade and you can also do the other way which is uh if uh like eight they have to find number eight together like nine they need to find number nine so yeah, we just need to be creative during this time and use whatever we have at home. Get your treasure! Get your treasure! What? Oh, yeah. Careful. Oh yeah, the marble. Be careful. Yeah. Hey. Crawl, crawl. Crawl, yeah. Crawl. Good job. Very good. Let's go back. So for today's activities, I just uh, provided some color um, color paper, like small one like this. You can use whatever paper that you have, but just not to take. And I give him like a punch hole. And then he, uh, you can get this at the dollar store. I, I have it at home before for my arts and craft. And then he just like uh, punch the hole. Can you show mommy how to punch the hole, please? So I just want him to learn about his sensory skill and his motor skill. Of course for this activity you have to supervise them. And I teach him how to use the scissors as well. I use like a small scissor. Oh, this simple, um, now this simple because... Mm -hmm. Like this. Oh, the whole bit. Uh, just a small scissor and... This kind of scissor as well, uh, but he's three and a half years old. So if your kid is too small, maybe don't give this activity. But if they are older and if they Do learn this at school already, stuck. they can try. Oh yeah. Yes. Now he is learning how to cut a triangle. So we try to um, draw a triangle, and he will cut based on the drawing that we draw and last time he can cut a square and rectangle so today he's gonna learn how to cut triangle 
so you can learn with that and he also cut the paper with this as well so i think it's really good for them to learn and again he's three and a half years old it depends on how old your kids are just be very careful it's hanging good thing lagi show mommy the triangle Good job! I'm so proud of you. Did you draw this? Yes. So he's been playing this for quite a while now. So I made him like three gondola cars. Do you like it, Brandon? They were bad.